Hello, and welcome to another wonderful Wired Wednesday. My name is Ashley. Today we're going to talk about Google reverse image search. Now, what does that mean? Google actually has a reverse image search kind of search engine where you can upload a photo. It could be something you've seen online where you're not sure if it's real or not, and it will show where it comes up elsewhere. This works for um, scam kind of dating profiles as well. You can put a picture in of somebody from a dating profile and it will show you where else they show up online if they show up anywhere else at all. If it's something about news and you put something in there and it doesn't show up anywhere else online, you kind of have a really good idea that that's misinformation. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google reverse image search. So what you wanna do first is save the photo. So if you're going into any sort of thing, you can do a screenshot if you want, or you can just tap on it and then hit save as. You can save the photo to wherever you want on your device, and then that's where we're going to pull it from. So when you go into Google, so you're gonna to go to google.com, and there looks like a little camera in the search, little search bar that's there. You're going to tap that, and then you're going to find the photo that's on your device. So what it should do is it should pop up into the pictures area of your phone. So that's even if you're on an iPad or you're on an Android tablet or a phone or a computer, it should automatically bring you to the area where you would find things on your computer. You then will find the picture that you want and you're going to tap on that picture. And then now what it's doing is it's using the Google Lens feature. So Google Lens basically uh, will scan that photo and then it will tell you where that photo or similar photos to that come up online. So in this instance, I used my Wired Wednesday's thumbnail photo. So it's what I use for my videos. Uh, it's what I use on different calendars on the internet to let people know where to find the videos and things like that. And I know it will show up elsewhere. So that's why I used it. So as you can see in these search results, it's showing you the websites where it comes up. So then you can go across and there's also like things like visual matches and things. And you can click through those too as well to see where else something will come up online. If something doesn't come up in another spot, if it's for a misinformation purpose, as in you are seeing something on Facebook that's a photo and you're not sure if it's real, put it in there. And then if nothing comes up anywhere, it's a pretty good indication that it is misinformation. Um, same with online dating profiles. Um, you know, Sometimes people will steal people's photos and use them for scam um, dating profiles. So you can run that picture through there and it will show you where else it comes up online. You may find it's somebody's Facebook photo that's not, that doesn't connect to the person who you're talking to. So this is what Google reverse image search is used for. Um, you can click on the websites to see where it takes you next and to see where, like, you know, the information about it. Um, and you can just see it in one list as well. And I think it's really helpful for when, you know, we're looking at Facebook and we're seeing all these different images come up all the time. And you're trying to figure out if they're relevant for today. Sometimes an image is from years and years ago. And it's something that's being used, you know, to kind of propagate, you know, fear or things like that. Um, but you can put that into Google reverse image search. It will tell you where else it comes up online. Something may not be from today, it may be from years ago, or it may not come up anywhere at all. And it's just been completely fabricated.